Nicole de Weaver is a Broadway performer who danced her way from the Dutch Caribbean island of St. Martin to New York. Her biggest professional achievement so far is appearing in the Broadway musical Fela, based on the life of Nigerian musician and activist Fela Kuti. It was rated by the New York Times as one of the top 10 shows on Broadway in 2009. De Weaver came to the U.S. as a teenager and attended high school in Virginia, then went on to graduate from New York University. I am sitting down with Nicole De Weaver, St. Martin native, Broadway performer, dancer, actress, so many titles. I read somewhere that you danced your way from St. Martin to the U.S. Was it that simple? Not at all, <laughs> but I'm extremely excited to be here and share my story with you and I have a lot to say. <laughs> so how did you get started in dance? Well, you know, culturally, I think in the Caribbean, young boys and girls, we engage in a lot of creative arts. And as a young girl, I danced, um, not on a professional level when I began. I, I began at the age of four. And then, actually, as I grew older and started to enjoy it more and become more passionate about it, I realized this is the only thing I can see myself doing. Um, so I left St. Martin at a young age, and I pursued a career in dance of course having to go to school for it and train intensively um, but I couldn't see myself anywhere else doing anything else so and you've had great success you were in one of the top shows on Broadway fella and you have garnered so much success did you ever think that you would get this far well to be completely honest with you I desired doing more commercial dance only at a later stage of my artistic um, endeavors in dance. I focus more in ballet, modern, and concert dance styles. And then actually with doing the work and doing the preparation, it allowed me more opportunities. And then I bricked into the more commercial mainstream uh, industry. And that's pretty much how I see it. I was just doing the work and then all of that came with the work. And um, But to say that I've seen myself on Broadway, I don't think I ever envisioned myself as being a Broadway artist. But it came naturally because of the content of the work. I gravitate towards the message and I really um, wanted to do something that was meaningful. So it was like the perfect musical to be a part of. So tell me more about Fela. How did you land that part? Well, I auditioned in the beginning stages. It was once a project. It was called the Fela Project. And Bill T. Jones was hosting a number of auditions for the creative process of developing this work um, centered around this brilliant artist and activist by the name of Fela. And I auditioned in the city. It was like hundreds of people showed up for this audition. And um, I was one of a very few um, dancers selected and we um, had about four or five workshops before it crossed over to Broadway so I was there from the beginning process and so to say that it happened in one day would be that did not happen you know it took us a couple of years to cross over into that commercial Broadway um, caliber now, as I said, it's one of the top shows. It garnered so much notoriety and popularity and won awards. What was that experience like for you? It was a lot that happened one time. Like, for instance, going to Broadway, because we were first housed off-Broadway, and there was such great buzz about the show. And then there was that um, lull of time where people were like, is this marketable for a Broadway presentation, a Broadway stage performance? Is it going to last on Broadway? Specifically also because of the content. It was very politically driven. It was very avant-garde and daring, the subject material we were dealing with. And it was of an African man, mm -hmm. you know? So that type of story you don't really see on a Broadway stage. So there was a concern, is this really going to happen? And I feel like the work pretty much spoke for itself and it had to happen. People believed in the message. Um, we had a huge fan base before it went to Broadway and I just felt like, completely honored to be a part of like history in a sense because um, the content as I said before is historically provocative and is meaningful so it was like I'm in the right place at the right time doing significant work. Mm. And you were prepared for it? I felt prepared. Um, was I prepared for the type of um, visibility? I don't think so. Um, it came with a lot of visibility and a lot of, um, uh, how can, can I say, um, responsibility because the message was so significant that um, it also fueled the activists within me. Mm -hmm. So. 
it, it came at a great time of my life where I knew what I was doing was not solely for entertainment, but also with purpose, mm -hmm. you know? So I feel like I was at the right place at the right time. Mm. We'll talk some more about that purpose. I am here with Nicole DeWeaver. We'll be right back on Island Innovators. The most and the best education that I've obtained is actually by traveling. And my work had allowed me to travel extensively through Europe, Asia, and Africa. I was exposed to a lot and I understood the meaning and the importance of diversity. And um, I felt like there was no limit. But I, do I did understand at that time that it was important to leave the island to 